Uh, and today I'm going to teach you about rendering 101. If you're interested in the stuff that I tell you today, this is the equivalent of about CPE 473, which is an undergrad course in the computer science department. Um, so back in the old days, if people wanted to make um, an animated movie, they had to draw every frame by hand. Um, every frame meaning like every picture in the movie, and then you have to like slightly adjust your picture and do it over and over again, and then you display all those pictures over and over again, and like you kind of forgot, you people forgot how that worked. So instead of doing that really tediously, we can ask a computer to do that for us, so we can ask a computer to draw every picture in a movie um, digitally, and surely it will be so much simpler and so much easier. Um, prerequisites, you should probably know like basic shapes, and um, the, important, wait, the important thing is you should know what a ray is. A ray is basically like, like a direction from a point, just point and shoot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to write a program that takes in a text file, and it does some thinking, and it produces a picture. And then uh, we're going to do that a lot of times. And in the end, we string all the pictures together to make some movie. We don't care about the movie part. We're just making one picture. So we're going to use an input file to describe our digital scene. The input file contains um, items in the scene and items not in the scene. So like items in the scene are like objects. Items not in the scene are like lights and camera. They're not real lights and cameras. They are fake. They are imaginary. We are deciding things about them. So like um, camera, like where are we with respect to the scene? Um, so we're going to put a text file with that information about our scene into our computer. It's going to do some thinking. It's going to produce that output image. Um, and basically, an image is just a grid of colors. So how do we know what color belongs in what part of that grid? So this is a good like image of what we're doing. So from that little camera point of view, one pixel at a time, we're going to, sh we're going to shoot a ray like, towards that object. Like, like through each pixel, and we're going to ask, did I hit an object or did I not hit an object? And if you did hit an object, we're going to color that pixel the color of the object. And if we didn't, then we just color it whatever color we feel like because we're in charge. So, <laughs> so this is like a really basic example. So I'm going to shoot a ray through every pixel in that image. And if I don't hit the ball in, the, in my digital scene, I just color it black because I hit the background. And gradually, we make our model more complicated. Um, maybe I want some shading and shadows, like <laughs> this image. OK, I'm going to keep making my model, like my, my process, more complicated. Um, so maybe I want like, my objects to be reflective. Maybe I want them to be refractive. So like, maybe when, you know, when light goes through my objects, maybe I want the light to like, you know, maybe the objects are made of glass. Maybe the objects are going to be mirrors later. Um, eventually, maybe my objects, you know, are like really warpy, and we're gonna keep like making our algorithm more and more complicated. Um, so, like, you know, as we keep complicating that algorithm, and we keep like making it more and more complicated, like we're gonna increase like the number of objects in the scene. That algorithm on the left is getting more complicated. Uh, we're gonna, like we're gonna keep increasing like the number of things we put in the scene. Um, we're going to make the scene like a little more like colorful, like colors are going to like start blending together because in real life, like um, colors blend together a little bit more. That algorithm is going to get more complicated as we consider all the things that we have to do. Uh, and then eventually, like, like, like around this time, you've practically made one frame out of like a Pixar film. And then like that algorithm is going to get a little more complicated. Um, and like eventually you'll just have like one frame out of like a pin of like a ratatouille. And like uh, who knew that you were so capable? Um, so yeah, it, it takes like an incredible amount of like time and math and physics to do any of this garbage. Uh, and <laughs> it's ridiculous. You also get some really cool bugs uh, when you're working on programs like this. Uh, so like sometimes all the light went away, and you don't know where it went, and you were sure you put it in there. And sometimes it just decided to like walk, like stand up and walk away, um, or sometimes it decided that like things are not going to look like you thought they were. Um, credit where credit is due. Some of the example images in here were from uh, a professor's site, like CPE 473. So if you want more information, you could talk to me after the presentation. And that was the whole course. <laughs>